And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. With an absolutely gorgeous day now behind us, we turn ahead to looking at that rainfall moving in across the southern half of the state already. And it's all thanks to a round of low pressure centralized over Arkansas, making its way northeastward across the Mississippi River Valley this morning. And you can see all that rain extending across parts of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, and it's all moving northward right towards Greater Lafayette. For this time being, however, we remain dry for the most part. A couple isolated rain showers still making their way in over the far southwestern portion of the viewing area on our Precision 18 radar. Aside from that, the majority of the region remains dry at this time. That will not be the case, however, throughout the entire morning. So we had that round of low pressure flexing northward. That will bring rainfall throughout much of the viewing area, especially our southern counties, beginning this morning. Possibly even a few isolated showers for our northern counties later on today. It does appear that the heaviest rainfall will be across our southern counties. In fact, parts of Montgomery County could catch as much as three-tenths of an inch of rain by this afternoon and evening. Now, we have the rainfall moving in, but temperatures remain pretty comfortable this morning. Not too bad. 40 degrees stepping out the door. Winds are from the southeast, 5 miles per hour. Still plenty of humidity here at the surface, and there may be some portions of the region that we're dealing with some light and patchy fog this morning, so please remember to travel safely over the next few hours. Here's your current temperatures throughout the remainder of the viewing area. 42 in Kokomo, 39 Rensselaer, right around 40 degrees stepping out the door in Jamestown this morning with those mainly cloudy skies. Now, our precision future cast shows more of that scattered light Light rainfall, more or less right around a tenth of an inch, maybe even a 15 one hundredths of an inch of rainfall for Lafayette throughout the next 24 hours. Once we get towards about 5 p.m., though, the rainfall begins to come to an end, pushes off to the east of us. Eventually, we start talking about clearing skies overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. In fact, some light and patchy fog, again, not out of the question. A lot of that moisture is sticking around throughout the evening hours as we do see those clear skies. From very calm northerly winds overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Temperatures reaching 46 degrees by your lunch hour. 53 will be your high temperature in West Lafayette. Even with that rainfall, the cloud cover, we improve upon yesterday's high temperature about 3 degrees. 43 degrees by about 10 p.m., falling off to 34 overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, staying just north of that freezing mark overnight tonight. Winds will be from the northwest from 0 to 5 miles per hour. As for tomorrow, some light patchy fog throughout the morning hours, gradually clearing up throughout the morning into the early afternoon. We then see the mainly clear sky. Beautiful conditions yesterday. Plenty of sunshine. Temperatures warming all the way back up into the mid to upper 50s. 56 degrees your afternoon high. Temperature in West Lafayette, 57 for Logansport. 55 your afternoon high in Fowler for tomorrow afternoon. And we only approve upon that that for Thursday as well. 60 degrees. Chris Alex looking at an absolutely perfect day for Thursday. Sadly, not all good things can say, so we have that chance of rainfall moving back into the viewing area just in time for Friday. It looks like the majority of that rain will fall on Friday. Maybe some light lingering showers Saturday morning. 50 degrees your high temperature on Saturday. Sunday we fall back down to around 52 degrees. Hitting a high temperature, bouncing back up to around 63, however, next Monday. Maybe a little bit of a sharp drop in temperatures by Monday night, Tuesday morning of next week. But up until that point, looking nearly perfect, except for those slight chances of rainfall in the forecast. Beautiful conditions ahead. You know, even with those chances of rain, though, I'd rather have the rain and warm temperatures as opposed to snow and cold temperatures yeah. at well, this point. Well, just about a week and a half ago, we were seeing afternoon high temperatures in the mid to upper teens. Now we're talking temperatures in the mid to upper 50s and low 60s. I think we'll take that any day over those cold temps. All right, Cam, thanks yeah. very much.